Hello and welcome back to our Let's Play Close Combat the Longest Day with me, Little Cucumber. Okie dokie, we are going to do this. Con! Con! Yeah. Alright, we've got disorganized Bren group there. We've got a rifle group that's slightly out of it. I guess we'll get a new group in there. There we go, as a replacement. We don't have any replacements for the steward crews, unfortunately. We don't need it. That said, and I don't think we'll need the six pounder gun. I need to see the opponent for a second. They have a half track. Mm. No, I prefer having a universal carrier in there as a sort of mobile battle carrier. Okay, we'll continue the battle, as said. Um, hmm. Oh, this is interesting. <coughs> Apparently we made a couple of dents in their defenses, so okay, that's cool. I don't mind that. I guess we will position ourselves in a smart manner, like so. What can you see if you're up here? Can you see down the road? That's perfect. That's all I needed, really. If you're up there and you're down on the uh, ground ready to fight, I am happy. I need to avoid um, placing these things in um, positions where rockets can easily hit them. That's all I need to do, really. Put you guys on the fence as well. And you can't... Oh, you can actually see that. Okay, that's good. Yeah, you can cover that part of the street. So nobody crosses, that's basically it. And they're in they've got an injured um gunner. So I really don't wanna put them in too much trouble there. They've got a universal carrier, which is a really nice piece of equipment. Um for racing to points eventually. Uh, that's what I'm gonna use it for. If I get a chance that is. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I'll I'll put it on the tracks here next to the uh, panther wreck put it on the fence, there we go we have PIA troops we need to make sure that they uh, do not nope PIA troops, come on they do not move through our line towards the um towards our position over here, so what I'll do is get these guys behind the universal carrier on ambush. There we go. Anyone getting too close will get blown to bits. Alright, we've got a Vickers machine gun that we need to put in somewhere. My guess is I would put it in this building. Okay, is this like a second floor? Not really, but that's okay. Put it on the fence. There we go. They'll be defending that sector. I think it's got to be hard for the Germans to uh, move through that sector, which is exactly what I want. Nope. Oh, come on. Yeah, we need to really put them in here. Defending this. in the woods there. Got a brand group that needs similar treatment. We'll open up on them instantly. Couple of guys there in the woods, one on the tracks. He's a brave one, that one on the tracks. <laughs> and we have a platoon headquarters right there which we will put into this building Defending. Anyone trying to push through those buildings will get shot. Okay, this uh, platoon headquarters will take position uh, next to the uh, Vickers machine gun, really. That's where I want them. There we go. And you also have a rifle group left. 
So I guess I'll put in in this little building over here. Fence. I don't want to mess up this sector over here. All right, we've got a a nice little rifle group over here as well, which we will put on ambush. Oh, and the fence is fine actually. They can fire out of this building without issues. So there, brand group. The other end. Okay. Three inch mortar. It's gonna be a tight box defense. I know I've not done myself a favor in the past doing these, but uh I have a feeling we're going to make it work. I can't see that. You cannot see that very well. What about now? Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, they can so they can sort of see that, that's good. Two inch mortars are also still left. I actually forgot to place the two inch mortars. I'm silly. Should have. I'll put these guys up over here in this garden. I'll put them on the fence. And then have we have a platoon left headquarters that will be uh supporting um, our flank over here from the railway station. There's not going to be anyone getting into the railway station anytime soon, so there we go. Okay, that's it. I'm going to press begin and hopefully we'll make some good counts. And we do. There we go. Off track's gone. Yeah, they're immediately pressured. I'm gonna do something stupid with the uh, with the steward now. Okay, they surrendered. Low. <laughs> I guess they don't want to play anymore. Okay, we lost the group there. Got a tank there. This guy's gotta be crazy. Fucking brave steward there. move with our steward? Yes we can. Let's move with the light tanks. We'll use the stewards. Fast. Move, move. Into this building, go. Go. And move some of our troops around. There we go, that broke him. The battle ended because all the Axis forces were destroyed or routed. So this is a box defense that turned into an offense successfully for a change. I really wanted to see if I can, could crush them from one flank, and I did, from the right flank in this case. And the northern flank sort of helped. And let's have a look at the details for a second. Yeah, we lost f five guys, of which two were killed. And we lost an officer, 
was incapacitated, but that's okay. And they lost, well, pretty much all their officers <laughs> and uh, most of their infantry. One of their vehicles was destroyed and three prisoners were taken. So, good. Good, we broke them. That's good news. Alright, so, Bayeux, Panzalier, that's next. And we have air support there, hopefully we won't need it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the Germans are in full retreat now. We've almost secured Normandy. Uh, but next time, we'll have to fight for Bayeux. See you then. Bye-bye.